What's up everybody, it's your boy G Money, back at it again with another video on the G35. So like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe right down below this video. Like always, if you enjoyed the content, make sure you put that thumbs up. If you didn't like it, then you know, put that thumbs down. But hopefully you do like the video, and like if, like I said at the beginning, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, make sure you click that notification bell. Uh, by doing that, you'll be first to be notified when I upload a video on the channel. So, whether you just subscribed or you've been a subscriber, make sure y'all click that bell so y'all don't miss out on any video that I put on the channel. But, like always, if you do those three things, I'd greatly appreciate it, and you'll be part of the G35 fam. So, that being said, let's get this video started. Alright guys, so what's up? Hopefully y'all are having a great day. Uh... So on this video, if you saw the thumbnail, I'm going to show you how to install and customize a grill for your G35. Whether it be a coupe or a sedan, um, I'm going to show you all what y'all what y'all got to do to get this customized look. And hopefully the finished product, y'all y'all will like it. Um, I have did this um, customized grill on my other G35 that I had previously. Uh, on that one, I had a coupe. So now that I have a sedan, I thought I would do the same thing to it and uh, give it that, you know, that look that, you know, nobody's really seen. Um, so right now I have the original OEM and uh, I'm going to switch it out. I'm really excited because uh, I had to special order this grill because apparently the 05 and 06 sedans, they don't really make those. Uh, you can't just buy them, uh, you know, here in the States. Um, you know, so I had to get it shipped from Hong Kong, so it kind of took a little longer. But now that I have it, it's hot out here. But I really want to install it and I want to show you how to do it. So, what y'all really need uh, to complete this uh, task is, of course, you need your grill. Um, but the certain grill you need, you need a it's kind of like a JDM style, but it's a JDM um, a mesh uh, grill. I'll put a, a link in the description. So that way you know what parts I get I get for the car to complete this uh, you know customized look. But okay, uh, you're gonna need your grill. Um, you're gonna need some fishing wire, but uh, make sure you get like the clear one. That way um, it can hide the emblem. Um, I used to have zip ties that I did that and uh, the real thin ones, and it looked good. But when you got close, you can notice uh, you know the zip tie. So now I. Um, I'm gonna go with the clear fishing wire. It's also, you know, pretty, uh, pretty, uh, well made, so you know it can hold, you know, up to 50 pounds. So you just need that. You're gonna need your uh, linemen or flyers, so you can cut the fishing wire and then you can uh, tighten it. And then uh, last but not least, you're gonna need your emblem. So uh, you can get these off of eBay. Uh, they just sell the emblem by itself. And uh, that's pretty much it. You're just gonna need uh, those uh, those four things. Of course, uh, if you to take off your grill, you need like a flathead to take off those little clips. But uh, other than that, guys, that's all you really need. So I haven't opened up my uh, my grill yet, so I'm really excited to see what it's gonna look like. Uh, like I said, this is special ordered because um, they don't make these in in the states. Uh, if you have a 0304, um, you can find you can find them, and then of course the grills for the coupes you can find them on eBay, you know everywhere. So um, I'm really excited. Uh, let's open this box up and then we'll get started with the customizing. All right, so here's the, here's the box right here. I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna see how it looks. That's the grill, and then uh, so what you want to do is this emblem right here. We're gonna put it right here, and it's gonna give it that uh, that customized look. So uh, yeah, let's let's let me show you how to do that. All right, guys. So pretty much what what you want to do is you want to have your uh, 
do right here. Just have your grill ready. You don't want to, you don't want to do this step with the grill on the uh, the car ready because it it's hard to put the emblem on. So you just have the grill off, and then pretty much you can use a measuring tape if you want, but uh, I just eyeball it, and you pretty much put it where wherever the center is, and then wherever the center is, then you use your uh, your fishing wire and you pretty much tie it tie it right here and right here you could probably do two right here but uh i might just do one right here and then two right here we'll see how it comes out but i'm gonna put the uh, the the fishing wire and then we're gonna see how it looks so let me do that right now and then um we'll see how it looks all right guys so pretty much that's what it looks like from the back you can see I have three of the the ties I'm gonna cut them but um, yeah that's what it looks like from the back and then the front it's not that bad if I don't like it I'll probably uh, if it moves too much then uh, I'll put the uh, the zip tie but uh, for now I'm just gonna leave that so I'm gonna cut cut the back of these and then uh, we're going to mount it. And I'm going to show you how to take off the old grill. Put this one on. And uh, we're going to see how it looks. Alright guys. So pretty much this is my old uh, OEM style. As you can see it kind of has the same concept. All this is black. And then this uh, infinity emblem is chrome. So it's kind of the same thing. But uh, I just like the way the style that I customize looks um, but yeah like I said you're gonna need like a flathead and you just pop off these little clips I put them over there so that way or a matter of fact I'll put them over here on the battery so that way nothing gets lost and then uh, so it's this clip this clip this clip this one this one and this one well yeah the reason why you need to do this one is because the the grill goes under the bumper so you need to loosen that one up so I'm gonna do all these and remove my grill all right guys real quick so right here if you can see this little clip it goes right in there right so I use my flathead to push it down push it down on this and pop this out that way um, you know you don't you don't want to break this and then uh, so on this side it has the same thing I'm going to push down right here with my flathead and then it'll pop out so just be careful when you do that guys because um, I think it was on my coupe you don't want to break the little tabs um, but the way I guess this one looks I just got to remove that push that down and release it so I'm just gonna do that and then the grill should remove all right guys I'm not gonna lie taking off that grill was one pain in the butt I think it's better if you just take off the bumper but pretty much um, as you can see right here right here right here right here right here right here you have these these little uh, Be able to see it they'll have these little uh, clips right here right in order to take them off or to get them out of those grooves you got to push down right here so with the flathead you just push down right there and it releases it and that'll uh, slide it through it was kind of a, a pain in the butt guys like seriously uh, so I'm just letting you know on that. But now that that's taken off, let's put on this grill. And hopefully it fits. And we'll see uh, how everything comes out. So here we go. All right. So that's the grill. Now what I just noticed, what I didn't know, uh, it looks like you have to use um, 
like a hole saw. I mean, not a hole saw, a pilot bit to drill out the hole right here, right here, and right here. So that way you can put your your clips on. So I'm going to do that. But uh, that's pretty much what it's going to look like, guys. Let's see. So, yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Like I said, I didn't. I didn't know I was gonna need. I was gonna need that because you know I just opened it right out of the box. So let me drill those holes, put those clips in, and everything will be done. All right. I already drilled the other four holes. What I use is a five sixteenth drill bit, and then of course I use my drill, and you just line it up like that. There's your holes, guys, right there. One, two, three, four. So now I can put the clips on, and then uh, we'll see how it looks, and then that'll be it. All right, guys, so pretty much this is what it looks like. Maybe I just gotta adjust that a little bit. But yeah, that's what it looks like, guys. Now, the only thing with these grills is um, it's all loose on the bottom. Uh, so you won't have the, those little um, those little clips to, you know, secure it. But this one, this one's clean. This one seems pretty, you know, secure. Uh, but yeah, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, but yeah, hopefully y'all like it. Like I said, I got a lot of people who left comments on how I was able to get this style. And like I said, it, um, I'll put the link in the description on like everything I used or what type of uh, grill I used. So that way, you know, you can get the same look. But yeah, that's all it is. So yeah guys um if you have any questions on you know any anything i use or any steps uh like always you know just leave a comment and i'll and i'll gladly you know respond right back but as you can tell it's freaking hot out here but i had to put this grill on because like i said i i was really excited to order it and then uh you know it was gonna be two weeks and so i finally got it and uh yeah so like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and uh, click that notification bell and put that thumbs up. I'll see y'all guys on the next one. Peace.